Pennsylvania State Representative Kevin Boyle is facing legal trouble this morning. The Democrat was hit with an arrest warrant accusing him of violating a protection from abuse order. Boyle was charged just three years ago for the same violation. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters where Boyle is expected to turn himself in. Hi, Corey. Matt, good morning. Yep, we are keeping an eye here at headquarters right now, just in case Representative Kevin Boyle decides to turn himself in sometime this morning, possibly. Philadelphia police say Boyle violated a restraining order and that an arrest warrant was issued yesterday. Police say the agency is unable to discuss the details of that warrant. This would be the second time the Philadelphia Democrat has been arrested. The last time was 2021 when Boyle was charged with harassment and violation of a protection from abuse order after showing up at his wife's house. The charges were dropped and Boyle stated that treatment at a mental health facility helped save his life. Back in February, the House took away Boyle's committee chairmanship and restricted his capital access after a video circulated on social media, apparently showing him drunk at a Montgomery County bar and then threatening to use his position to close that establishment. Uh, politicians are weighing it again after a recent arrest warrant was issued. That recent arrest warrant was issued. So House Majority Leader Matt Bradford tells Action News, quote, I love Kevin, but I have serious concerns about his mental health, and it breaks my heart to see him this way. I hope he gets the help he needs. Uh, Bob Brady, head of the Democratic City Committee, said, quote, I hope that Representative Boyle will get the medical help that he needs first and foremost. He was an outstanding elected official. What is most important now is his health. So Boyle is now facing off against Sean Dougherty in next Tuesday's primary election. Boyle has been, uh, he has represented in Northeast Philadelphia House District since 2011. Uh, he is also the brother of U.S. Congressman Brendan Boyle, who we have not yet heard from just yet concerning the situation. So we will definitely stay on top of all of the latest developments. But now reporting live here at Police Headquarters, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Nydia. Corey, thank you.